I'm going to be doing one of two of the soaps for the October Soap Challenge Club, which is Cowboys versus Aliens, and I am doing Aliens on mine. And I've got my Soap Challenge Club gloves on my sleeves. So I'm excited to wear these the first time. Okay, anyway, the first one I'm gonna do is, and this is a thought that I had immediately, is I want to do the Martians and the Yip Yips from Sesame Street. So ignore that one right there. <laughs> but those are my, those are my drawings. So I'm gonna do this one right here and we'll cut over to me making them um, here in a second. But I actually had quite a bit of soap dough left over from various projects. So for I'm making two soaps for this challenge and because I always want to have one for the main entry and one for the bonus. And um, I don't know which one this will be yet until I cut them and finish them. But I have my yip yips made right here and then I have their little antenna. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to attach their antenna just yet. Soap dough is not pliable when it's thin. It's just, it's not like polymer clay. It doesn't stick together, it cracks, it breaks. It's really not very user friendly. So the plan is, um, I'm just gonna do one loaf of it. I'm going to be using um, some fragrances that are left over. This blue one is actually, this is fragrance. If you go back to the, um, which one was it? It was last month's challenge with the, I think it was called Rain, but it was a buffalo plaid with the blues. And this is the one that I had the big issues with. And I ended up with all this leftover batter. Well, it actually became excellent soap dough. So I use that for this. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be using, this is a, from Brambleberry. It's actually a blend of um, energy and some patchouli fragrance oil that I had used in my Frankenstein soap. Um, but this is just a little bit left over. And then I have some mandarin from, from Nature with Love that I'm going to use. I'm not quite sure how this will work in soap. Hopefully there'll be no issues with behavior. I'm gonna use it on top. This one will go on the bottom. I have used this in bath bombs and it does smell really good. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do black for the base with activated charcoal and um, put some in, hopefully enough to kind of fill it up to fill in this little hole. And then I'm going to set that in there and hopefully get it in place. I'm having, because it's so big, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting it set in there just normally, but I don't want to put it in and then pour because I may end up with air pockets. Um, and then the top, I'll probably put a little bit of black on top uh, and place the, the antenna. And then I'll either do some gradient white on top or in the pot. I'm not quite sure what I'll do there. This is going to be kind of one of those that I'll, I'll just go do as I go. And if there's any space, this may be a last minute thought as well with the leftover soap dough. I just went ahead and made some stars. With that, I may throw a couple stars on top. That will be something that I'll decide later. That kind of depends on the behavior of the fragrance. And then off to the side, I don't know if you can see it, I will have leftover batter, because um, this is enough to make one entire loaf, but this right here is quite a bit of soap. So I have some fragrance testers I'm gonna do over there, but that will be um, something you won't see I'll do afterwards. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead, cut over to me making these, and then we'll come back for making the actual soap. <laughs> 